Hi guys um, and welcome. I wanted to make a quick video to just highlight um, what the Reading Buddy program is going to look like for March. I just want to start by saying that I am so incredibly happy that you've chosen to participate. This is an incredible opportunity for not only you, but for the first graders that are going to be able to get exposure um, to reading from high schoolers, people that they look up to. So I wanted to go over what it's going to look like before you actually uh, present and then during so that you guys feel very comfortable <laughs> about what you signed up for because um, I haven't given you a ton of information. So what's going to happen is you signed up um, for a date and then each date has a particular theme that was chosen by the first grade teachers. So next week is the cat and hat. The week after that is Pete the cat. And then the week after that is a fairy tale. And remember that if you choose a fairy tale, it has to absolutely be appropriate because there are so many out there, um, so many different renditions um, that tend to be a little gruesome or a little scary. So make sure that when you choose a fairy tale, it's one that you know that first graders will um, appreciate and um, the first grade teachers and parents will appreciate. So let's look at the, um, and I'll give you guys this in the email as well. This is the sample presentation that will be used this Friday the 3rd. Um, in class, um, during the first session, they're going to read The Cat in the Hat. This was put together by the first grade teachers, and you guys will actually only put together the book portion of it. The teachers will then add the introductory portion, because when you get into class, they'll introduce the read aloud, and then you will hop into your breakout room with your book, with your slides, and then you'll read. Okay, So they'll introduce the read aloud, um, the focus, they'll do this. And then you'll have slides that have the pictures um, of each of the pages for the book that you chose. So make sure that you choose a book that you know that you can get your hands on. Um, the easiest thing to do, generally there's web versions of books. Um, this one was a web version of The Cat in the Hat. So what you'll do is you'll hop into your breakout room and you'll start reading. You'll say, hey guys, we're going to read The Cat in the Hat. Have you ever read this before? Um, and then you'll start reading. So you'll have each slide will have, and you guys are creating this, um, each slide will have a picture of each page. You'll go along and read, and if you want to ask comprehension questions as you go, like, ooh, what do you hear when you see bump? Um, and then you'll continue to read, and you will get to the end. I'm going to skip to the end slide. This book is quite long. And remember, as you read, you're going to take your time. And the, the teachers hope that you guys are comfortable using your video because first graders love to see people on video and it keeps them engaged. Okay. Um, and then the very last slide after you've read your book, just come up with a few questions, a few reflection questions. So it could just be comprehension, multiple choice questions, maybe two or three. Or you could have short answer questions like these. Did you make a text to self connection? Or what rhyming words did you did you see? Um, so, and I'll send you guys some other examples if you're having a hard time coming up with a reflection part. But this is the biggest piece because it's not only engaging to read, but it's also important that they understand what they were thinking as they were reading. And if this is a tough slide for you guys, I will help you along the way, especially because you will be sending me um, your, your presentation, your PowerPoint, before you actually present, just so that we can go through it and make sure that you guys are prepared. Okay, so really all you're doing is um, putting each page on a slide and then having a reflection slide. That's it. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about the creation of the PowerPoint, please make sure that you have your PowerPoint done the Wednesday before you present. So if next week is your week, if you can send me your PowerPoint on Wednesday anytime during the day, just so I have some time and we can just talk about it. Um, and then uh, you'll be added to the Class Connect for your week. Um, during that week, the teachers have your names. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I want this to be a fun, exciting adventure for you um, because it's such a great opportunity for these kids and for you guys to be able to um, do this for them. I'm, I know they'll love it. 
So feel free to reach out to me. I'm very excited and we'll talk soon.